Hello everyone, this is Dolapo Algoradini. You're welcome back to the Wise Builders. We stream the Wise Builders every Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. If you're new to this channel, we talk on faith, career and family. And if you're returning, thank you very much. After this video, please like, share and give us your comments and suggestions for topics. Today I'll be speaking about a topic that is um, very interesting. It's the daughter-in-law's vassals or against the mother-in-law's. In-laws. In-laws. Most of us women, by the grace of God, will become mothers-in-laws. Whether you have a child, girl, or a boy, you're still going to be in-law. The most controversial ones are the mother-in-laws as in when your husband has a mother some women goes into marriage i know some ladies that want to marry and they say things like when i want to marry i don't want my husband to have a mother i pray for the mother to have died i don't pray for my mother-in-law to die because i don't want to i'm not going to die and i don't want anybody to pray for me to die but you want to think there are reasons behind this um, people wanting their mother-in-laws to die. I've seen different kinds of mother-in-laws and people have told me about different kinds of mother-in-laws that you wonder, are they really mothers? Women marries and men marries. And I pray for you women that you are there. If you're a mother-in-law, please try and be a good mother-in-law. If you are such one that is bad after this program, try and change. Because you're sowing a seed. One of the things you find out that these women, especially women that has a male child, once their children get married, they don't release those boys and that is the cause of all these problems. Tonight I'm talking about three types of mother in-laws. The first one that I'm talking about is the greedy mother in-laws, otherwise called the bone vita mother in-laws. The second one are the lonely mother in-laws, the single parents and divorcees that trained their children all by themselves and the third one is the good and godly mother-in-law after this broadcast please be the third one the godly and the good mother-in-law now the bomb attack mother-in-law the greedy mother-in-laws they are the ones that because of what they want to eat they encourages their son to marry two three four wives I know and I heard of a woman that when the child, the son wanted to marry another woman, said in Kwani on post kundimeji kino any madu. That is to say, when your property becomes two, you will be happy. That's greedy. Because of the food, they want to eat with the left and the right hand. They want to take from wife A and take from wife B. They forget about their son's happiness. All they're interested in, even if the son brings the third, the fourth one, bring him. As long as at every Christmas, at every Easter, at every instance, they will eat with two hands. They will call A and they call B and eat. They are the greedy one. Yoruba call them a tribe in Nigeria. They are called Yoruba Bon Vita. You know, that is their lack and again, they eat because of their mouth. They lose their conscience. They lose their egg. They want to take from A. Bon Vita is a kind of local beverage that has a very big tin. And because of the fullness of it, they want to eat with their two mouths and then with their two hands rather. They are called the Bon Vita mother in laws. What these women do, they do not allow their, their children, their sons, to enjoy his life. And at the end of the day, the man will be unhappy. The man will end up being confused. Because mom wants him to love A, 
mom wants him to love B. Poor man cannot love, but he is the one that caused it anyways. Some of this is the woman that will bring or impose the second wife. They will say to him, I know of a woman that said to me, after several years abroad, I will say the States, you know, um, and the, 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 the family, the, the mother of the man said to him, that one has married you for over 20 something years. Because of that, the children are not going to be Nigerian. Beg your pardon. They are Nigerian by blood, but by, 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 by birth, they belong to whatever nationality they have. You can't remove the blood. And this woman went to impose. Some of them will even go to the extent of doing something diabolical to make sure that man marries another wife. After 20 something years to not marry another woman, you know, at the end of the day, the man is confused. But these men, they want to satisfy their mother. You find that, that they now run back to their mother. The man mess, the mother mess, usually mother, both it mother-in-laws, what you do or what they do, they confuse the man and they mess up his life. At the end of the day, the worst of that man is always, is, is worse than the beginning. The end of the man is worse than the beginning. So if you're a mother-in-law out there and you're born with that one because of what you want to eat, think about the end of your son. Think about the life of your son. Please don't encourage your son to marry other wives or another woman or have a secret wife for, for him somewhere in the village. These are born with that ones. Now, going to the second one. These are the lonely mother-in-laws. They are very good. They are very nice. They are very hardworking. Some of them are single mothers that maybe they are single not because of themselves. For adventure, they are widows. For adventure, they are divorcees. For adventure, they suffer domestic violence. But these are women that trained or brought up their children by themselves. Because of that, they believe these children are their property. I don't know if you have there. You are a mother. I'm a mother. I'm a widow now. And I'm raising my children by myself. But they are not my property. They are given to me by God to nurture them until the day they will find the bone of their own bone and I will release them to have their life. So these women, we are lonely. I said to women, find, do get a life. Get yourself busy. Get a career. Being a widow doesn't make you useless. Get a career. Get a life. Get yourself thrown into something that you do not. By the time, my typical day when I start in the morning, by the time I enter, I enter my bed, you know, it's when I need the emotional thing that I remember, oh, my, my loving husband is not there. But I get myself busy that I do not even think or have time for any man. But lonely women, what we find out that we do eventually is the fact that we now make these children our property. Because we pay so much for their school fees, we labor so much, we belong, believe they are for us. When it's now time for these children to marry, we start contending with their wives. Some mother-in-laws that I know, they are, you know, they make their own food for the man and they want the man to eat their own food. I've had stories about mother-in-law coming in and competing with their daughter. Come off it. You are a mother. You are not a wife. Your role and debt when your son marries. The only role you have after your son marries is a spiritual role, an overall caring mode, not a competitive one. You can, your son cannot love you the way. You can compare your love with the love your son has for his wife. So these lonely women, they get so lonely, they've taken care of their children for 20, 30 years. Now they won't release these children. Some of us do it when we do not know. So if you are such one, they are many. They are the, they say to them, no woman can tell me he's my son. I suffered for him so. So, please, if your son is not your property and he can never be your husband. You lost your husband due to your own carelessness or you lost your husband due to domestic violence situation that is not uh, uh, down to you. Yes. Or in my own case, you lost your husband, maybe he died. The fact remains that you are a single woman. You've nurtured your children. Let them go when they want to go. Train them well. 
raise them up or release them to whatever woman. Don't compete. Your son loves you and he knows the role you have taken as a mother and that ends there. Stop competing with these innocent children. Let them enjoy their husband. They are not to blame for you not enjoying your own husband. Some women, for some reason, it's their own carelessness that they lost their husband. You know, some of sometimes we women, until we lose something, I'm going to talk about that in another topic. Until we lose something before we start looking after it. That's why you see a woman, she messes up with her husband, her husband marries another woman that she starts crying about, and she, she doesn't leave the one inside to, to have peace. That's women. Some women, you lose your husband due to your own carelessness. But don't let this man lose his wife. So these are the mother in us that are the lonely one. They are very possessive, they are very controlling. The man who must call them in the morning must be a son must call them morning, afternoon, night. They have to know the son's movement before the son does anything. Son, if you are listening to me, it's not right. You can't be a mommy's rapper. Leave to your wife. Leave the Bible says, and so you will leave your father and mother, including your mother. Even whether she's in a hard situation about, oh, my mother suffered for me. The children are confused. They are confused. The moment you release them, some mother in law they control, they dictate early in the morning, they are calling the husband. They are calling because they are lonely. So I always say to people, get a life, get yourself busy, get a career. Because you're a single Woman, I know you're busy taking care of your children, but know that one day these boys will leave to marry. They're not your property, so get a life. The third one I'm talking about are the good mother-in-laws. I love good mother-in-laws. Good mother-in-laws that they are career-oriented, they are prayerful. They know their role. They don't compete with daughter-in-laws. They know. They even do things that will make their son to enjoy his marriage they tell the daughter look this are the food i love cooking for my son this is what my son know this is the way i want you to dress make your husband happy i don't want to hear anything about you both of you nurture your home hold your home she doesn't get involved that's a good mother you know so if you're a mother-in-law there, you're poking your nose, you are a busy body. You are poking your nose into the business of your son. I've seen this happen so many times and men are so confused. Men are, con are torn in between their wives and their mothers. They don't want to offend their wife. Some of them actually say, you know, she's my mom. Just please be with me. No, it shouldn't be. And because of the fact that it's this woman that brought them up, they don't want to be rude or shun their parents. So they make the poor woman unhappy. So mother-in-laws, and let me tell you something about these mother-in-laws. If you look at their own daughters, they don't live in husband houses. I know them. Both with her mother-in-laws, lonely mother-in-laws, and busybody mother-in-laws. Their own daughters, they have daughters. If you know anyone, trace it back. Those daughters don't live in any man's house. How would they live in somebody else's house? Because you are not allowing peace to reign in, some, in your son's house. So your daughters will not sit in a man's house. Mother-in-laws, I plead with you in the name of God, be the good one. Be a mother-in-law like Naomi in the Bible. Don't be on your daughter-in-law's throat. Don't make life miserable for her because she married your son. Remember, like I always say, God created your son the way he created the daughter. Don't ill treat her. Don't maltreat her. Don't let her regret that she married you. A lot of ladies pray nowadays that their mother-in-law should die. It's wrong. Single ladies don't pray that your mother-in-law should die because you don't want to die. Remember you are going to get old as well. I said to people that are praying for their own mother-in-law to die, you too will have a son. And your own daughter-in-law will pray one day. God forbid that you should die. You don't, you don't want that. What goes around comes around. But I know the reasons why this is happening is because our society is corrupted, our society is bad. I plead with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of these three types of mother haters, the worst one is the Bobita one. They are greedy. I can still identify a little bit with those 
one that the single one the divorcee one the widow one the vulnerable and they're just paying their children and their possession those ones can easily be addressed but the worst ones are the greedy the more better one because of what they want to eat they don't think twice they sell them their children's life to strange women and they don't they don't care they compete unnecessarily and they just want life unbearable for their for the, the, the son's wife the best one out of the three like i said is the good and the godly one a godly mother-in-law prays a godly mother-in-law knows her boundary she is a professional she has her own life even whether she's single or not she gets herself busy she knows that children are the heritage of the lord they belong to the lord the bible says and the fruit of the womb are his reward she knows like arrow in the hand of the mighty one so are the children when it's time to shoot them out shoot them out you train him let him go let him go and start his own family unit you will be in the advisory role that's a good and godly mother-in-law when they come to you mommy mommy we need your wealth of advice on this you give them on buyer's advice when you see that it's getting complicated refer them to a man of god a pastor these are the good ones they are respectable I know mother-in-laws that their daughter-in-laws pray for every time. Please be the good mother-in-law. Be the godly mother-in-law. Be the ones that all your job after your son marries is on your knees. A praying grandmother interceding for them. Advisory role, they just call you mommy and you tell them it is well. The rest assured. When they have their children, you go there to nurture and to, to take care of the children, not to cause division, not to start competing and saying this is the kind of food your 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 the, your, your daughter in law is cooking indomie you are cooking your love fries and you're dividing the home and you're saying this is the way I, I i make my son's food it's none of your business go get a husband go get yourself very busy please be the good and godly god mother-in-law you are the bonfita mother-in-law please change stop making life miserable for innocent children let these children enjoy the husband of their youth don't let the marriage crack up. If your son's marriage breaks up because of you, there's a reward. There's a reward and there's consequence. The Lord of peace will abide with you. I pray you have a change of heart because there are lots of you out there. I know some had known some before. And I pray that you will not see your son's demise. If you are a Bonvita one, you will end up killing your son one day because he's going to die. He's going to get frustrated and he's going to die. If you're the lonely one, it's going to get confused and you'll be hopping from one woman to the other. Because no woman will take a lonely mother-in-law as a mother-in-law. They are so controlling and demanding and they don't like allow their son to have a life. Please let your life, your, your son has a life. Be the good and the God-fearing one. Settle this, the matter on your news. Pray for them. Be a wise builder. Build your son's home. Build your daughter-in-law's home. As you're building their home, you're building your life. You're building your whole age. Your own daughter, wherever she is, her life will be at peace. So that is it today. Be the good and the godly mother-in-law. Be a wise builder. And you'll build your home and your son's home on the rock. In your old age, you will always rejoice. The God of peace will abide with you. Until next week that I meet you, continue to be a wise leader and God loves you. Thank you very much for tuning. God bless you. Bye-bye.